Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're fine. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade any of your Samsung phone to One UI 6.0 or 6.1 or basically Android 14 on any region or any country you are living right now or any Samsung phone. So for this video, I'm going to be having trying this method on this phone, which is Samsung Galaxy A04. And let me first show you that in settings all the way down to about phone and here you can see it's Galaxy A04 it's a product name Galaxy A04 model, the model number is A045F so this model number is very important without it you cannot update your phone or upgrade your phone to Android 14 or One UI 6.0 officially from Samsung so now let me go into our software information here you can see it's running on One UI 4 5.1 and on version Android 13 and if I go back, back and go to software update section and click on update and install, it's going to check for updates and, and tell me whether I'm able to install Android 14 on this smartphone or not. So as you can see in this dialog box, in this bar, on this page, the software is up to date. And the UI version is, UI core version is 5.1. We're going to update it manually, officially, to Samsung's latest One UI 6.0. So, for this procedure, as I told you before, you have to remember your model number, which you can find it again in settings about phone. And as you can see, model number, which is A045F. Not just A04, it's model name. The model number is A045F. So, you have to remember that there are some requirements for this, video, for this procedure to work. First, you need a laptop or computer running Windows 7 or above, and you also need a good data cable that can connect your phone to your computer and does not disconnect in this procedure or in this process because if it does there's a high chance that you're gonna break your phone or cause damage to your phone so it's important to purchase a new cable if you can or borrow it from somebody that a cable that does not disconnect from your computer so let's begin this video before starting this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and if this video and if this procedure really works for you don't forget to like this video and if you have any queries or questions or any doubts that you are having you can freely comment in the comment box and I will try my best to answer your queries so let's begin this video now we are inside our computer and what we're gonna do is you're gonna install some necessary files from officially from Samsung but for this what you have to do is obviously open up your browser and then I'll give it I'll give a link in the description which is a Samsung servers link where you can download all the firmwares for any Samsung phone for any region for any Android region so I'm going to give you in the description so you can click on it and then we will end it directly to this web page which I'm going to show you right now so this is that web page as I told you before now you have to remember that your model number which was in my case it was A045F so you have to go into the search and then you have to simply type it which is A045F and just a moment you will see your model number which is A045F and it's also telling us our smartphone name model name actually is Galaxy A04 so you have to obviously click on that and now here we are on that page and it's we have to scroll down and okay not there now you're gonna see all the countries from where that they have so right now I'm in Pakistan and I haven't got this update so if I just scroll a little bit down up down as you can see all the phones other all countries are running on Android 13 but but if you can see the SE key which is Ukraine has got Android 14 update that you can download from right here so you have to click on it obviously now we're gonna be downloading the update of Android 13 when you are 6.0 from Ukraine this is not important that when you go to this website and search for your phone model number that you will find a Ukrainian ROM your Ukrainian somewhere you might find a ROM from India Israel or other countries it doesn't depend it should, it should depend that it should be running on when you are 6.0 or 6.1 or just Android 14 or what which in our case Ukraine has got it and we are going to be installing it really easy just scroll down and then click yeah there are a lot of servers for you which from here you can download I will highly recommend just download from the Samsung you know, download Samsung Ford server which is highly recommended now after downloading the firmware it is going to be in between 5 GB to 6 GB and 
we have to also download a software which is going to help us put this uh, firmware into our phone. It's off again official. We are going to be going official from Samsung, which is ordering their own software. So as you can see, download Ordin 3.13.1. As you can see, it's Samsung's down Ordin download software. It's name of this software is also Ordin. Samsung Ordin, all right. So you have to just download it. Simple. The latest version is gonna suit us best, obviously. And then don't download the one-click route. Just download the latest updated version. All right. So just click on that. So now I'll scroll a bit down, and then you will see all those. Um, download now button. So just click on the first one, and it is obviously going to download you the Odin. And I already downloaded it. I already downloaded the uh, firmware here as well. It's been see the Odin there it is. So I downloaded that both of these things here. So I'm not going to be downloading it back again. So now, after downloading, what you have to do is extract all of those from zip files into the actual file, which is really fairly simple. So open up your file manager, go to download where you have downloaded it. And then just click on that Odin file, right click on it, and then click on 7-zip. If you don't have this application, you can download from your Google Chrome or from your browser, which is 7-zip the software name, which will help you extract, seven, extract zip files. You can also extract them with the inbuilt um, Windows extractor, file manager, but I will highly recommend you use 7-zip or WinWare. So just click on extract files, and I'm going to put them on my desktop for our easy access desktop. Okay, and then okay, and there we go. Here is the Odin folder. Now we will also extract the firmware here as well. So as you can see, the firmware is around 4.72 GB, which is around 5 gigs. And now after extracting, it might become 7 GBs or 8 GB. So it is not, uh, it's all not constant value. It means just for some phones it would be higher, for some phones it would be lower. So if you right click on it, that same thing, and then 7 zip and extract files. And because it's a very really huge file, seven to six to seven GBs, it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take some time. So let's click on desktop again, OK, and then click OK. It's gonna take some time. As I told you before, it's around 6.2 gigs. So we have to wait until it gets extracted. Now, until our PC is extracting that file, we have to set up our phone first. So now, in this phone, what you have to do is back up everything. Everything means everything. Everything will be deleted. So you have to back up everything, your contacts, your messages, your photos, your videos, all your applications, everything is going to get deleted. So you have to get, you have to, to do a complete full backup of your phone. So now after doing this, what you have to go is you have to go into settings and then in accounts and backup and then manage accounts. So this step is really, really important. If you don't do this, there's a high chance that you're not going to be able to succeed in this process. So. The actual thing is that you have to, the actual documentation from Samsung tells us that we have to just uh, remove our Google account and Samsung account. But for this, I would highly recommend to remove all the accounts to be on safe side while we have to take a risk and doing this thing. So it's highly recommended to just remove all these chat and all of those. When you remove your Google account and your Samsung account, they will ask for you for their account's passwords. But for other like, uh, for my bike account, this uh, riding app, just click on it and remove account. Facebook remove account simple really simple so you have to do it for all the the uh, accounts so I'm going to be doing it right now in just a moment and then I will show you what I have done so now I have successfully removed all my accounts as you can see there's no account here and we have also extracted everything from our PC now what we have to do is we have to simply uh, if you are using a memory card or sim i will highly recommend you to take it right now which is really important so in, in any case it might not also wipe out our whole uh, sd cards to be again to be on the safe side we're going to remove the sim tray to remove our sd card as well so that we didn't get any issues after flushing it so we have to just remove this tray okay and now we are good to go now what we have to do is just power off our phone all right in this meantime our firmware is also extracted so now we have to just wait for it to power off and now it's powered off so again on this point i will highly recommend you to use a high quality data cable that does not disconnect while you are uh, doing this procedure because if it does 
there's a high risk that you're gonna break your phone and it's gonna cost you a lot so just to be on the safe side use a cable that does not disconnect so now I'm gonna be in my, in my again start my recording on my PC and then I will show you how to input all the files from your firmware into your audience software so now as you can see we are in our computer now now let me show you the extracted file from our firmware, all the other files and the main file is this AP1 as you can see by the size it's 5.86 GB it's a lot of uh, size, it's a really huge file and other files are really small as you can see just 1.75 MB, uh, 30 MB and 170 MB so the main file is the AP file which contains all of our system images, boot images everything recovery extract for everything is in this image so now what we do now we have to click on the extracted software file then click on that folder again and then you find a application or software named as Odin 3 so you have to right click on it obviously and then you have to run the then click on run or yes now what it's gonna tell you is gonna give you a warning that I already told you everything please be sure to delete your Google account and Samsung account before downloading binary and uh, the second thing is you have to make sure to download the appropriate binary as I told you download the appropriate binary for your phone and you have to remember your phone model number so now just click on ok and here's our Odin software so now this might not look familiar to you but what you have to do is just click on BL and right here and then you have to select the file from that uh, particular extracted firmware so you have to double click on it and as you can see AP or BL so we have to click on play BL and then we have to click on BL version as you can see BL one then you have to double click on it or open and then it got a check, check in here which means it's selected and it's going to show you the file name as well so now we are going to click on AP which is the most biggest file so it's also going to take a lot of more time because it's a really huge file for it to, to input in the software so you have to click on it and click on open and then it will take some time as I told you before so I have to give it so now as you can see now we have also got a check on AP now we have to click on CP select CP simple click on open and then same for CSC now click on CSC and then now we have got check on all four of those and now we are ready to flash and connect our phone so now let's I'm going to show you how to connect your phone and flash it. So let's move to our recording. So now we are getting on recording and here's our phone. What you have to do is that you have to take your cover out so so that you can click those to click it so that you can press those buttons easily just for our ease. And now what you have to do is you have to grab your cable and then connect the PC side. Alright, so I'm going to connect it here. So now the one side is connected to PC while the other side is still free. So now what you have to do is you have to press volume up and volume down at the same time and then you have to plug it in and make sure the other side is also connected with your PC. And there you will see uh, connected in here. Alright, so now you have to press, press and hold volume up and volume down at the same time and then just insert this cable in here. So one, two, three. Keep pressing the buttons until you see a warning screen on your phone. Just keep pressing. Oh, here's the screen which I was talking about. So now you will have to just click on the volume up button for once. And what you will volume up button for once. Now this is the downloading and warning screen which we want. And now on our PC as well, you're also seeing uh, added. All right, it means that our phone is actually connected to PC and you can also see COM3 which indicates that the phone is properly connected with the Odin software now it's really simple just click on start and it's going to take it some time just simply click on and let me first keep it somewhere uh, here so that you can take a look at my phone there so that you can not say that I have changed the phone or anything like that so just phone is everywhere click on start and there we go now the line will start here all right so it's moving all of those files in our phone and you can also see this line on our smartphone as you can see so now i'm not going to be uh, moving this phone a lot because if it disconnects from the pc i would be in a very huge problem so we have to wait for it 
to complete. Uh, I will place it at some point where you can see the phone clearly as well. So, uh, alright. So as you can see, we are seeing a pause in here. Now phone number is restarting. So now we'll see a re erasing or resetting the screen. And as you can see, one UI is going to say erasing in a moment. So as you can see, erasing now erasing is done. Now it will start normally. At this point, you can safely disconnect your phone from a PC. And now your PC work is done. You can close everything on your PC, delete everything, and then you are good to go. Now it will take some time for this phone to boot up, so we are going to give it some time. So now we just have to wait for this phone to boot up, and you can see this is still the same phone, so that you don't say that I have changed the phone or anything. Um, you, some of you might be asking me, okay, we have changed our region, well, we have changed our firmware. Is it going to cause any problem to our phone with our service providers or everything and the answer to it is absolutely no you're not going to be having any problem even you're going to get some of the new features of that country as well for some countries like india and some countries that are like israel also have call recording features so if you uh install that rom on your that form on your phone you're also going to get those um features some countries also have those features to remove your cache file automatically at night automatically all right so there are some also new features like uh, Samsung Pay or some other features like that. So you're gonna get with those regions which you might not having it right now. And some people might be thinking our IMEI will be same, our serial number will be same, or will our warranty will be still uh, intact, or it would get void. And the answer to all of those is no. You also your IMEI will remain the same. Your model number, serial number, everything will remain the same. Even in your warranty will remain so you don't have to worry about uh, losing your warranty or anything because we haven't done anything internally or we haven't any changed installed any custom rom it's officially from samsung so now we have to just wait for it for the phone to boot up so now our phone is going to open boot up into welcome screen and there we go it's like in ukrainian language so you have to click on this language button and then you have to select your english so now we have Select the double language, so you just click on start. So now we have set it up, you just have to click on finish and it's gonna boot up into and it's gonna direct you to the home screen. And there we are. As you can see, it's the one UI. 6.1 as you can see from the controls control obviously is control a menu it's a one US 6.0 and let me show you it in your settings go to settings and go all the way down to about phone and it's still you can see it's the same smartphone a 045 f a 3 a 4 as you can see the IMA numbers you can compare it with the phone from where we've just started before and then you have to click on software information and there we go one us 6.0 android 14 let me show you android 14 and there we go android 14 as you can see it's officially from samsung and you have to as you can see this phone is successfully upgraded to android 14 so now as you can see we have successfully upgraded to android 14 one us 6.0 officially from samsung so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and if you have any queries or anything you can comment below in the comment section i will try my best to uh, answer those questions